This is a home fitness workout that is a seven minute, seven day challenge to increase your fitness, improve your health, and also help with healthy weight loss. It is a seven day challenge and takes just seven minutes. Now, if you start marching on the spot as a warm up, so first of all, this is suitable for everyone. It's ideal for both women and men. It's gonna improve your fitness. It's also gonna improve your health, and you are gonna feel amazing. This is also really good if you wanna learn to start running. I'm gonna help with your running technique, your speed, stamina. We're gonna reduce body fat and just generally improve your overall health. It takes just seven minutes and you're gonna do it for seven days. So let's get started. Now, if you need longer for a warm up, then you can always hit the pause button, march on the spot. If you're ready to get going, I'm ready to start training you now. So you're gonna see 15 seconds of the first move before we start. So it's four straight leg kicks. If you're a beginner, follow me on the left and you do four side toe taps back and then you travel forward four kicks. If you're intermediate, you're gonna do half squat jumps back for four, and we're gonna do this 60 seconds, so let's get going. So as I said, beginners always follow the move I'm doing on the left. If you're intermediate, follow me on the right. And at the end of this video today, I'm gonna to explain to you how you can take my fitness test, then you redo it in seven days time, and you can see how you will have increased your stamina, speed, endurance. So let's keep going, you're doing really well. We've got last 30 seconds nearly coming up. We're not doing any repeaters, so it's gonna fly by today, last 30 seconds. So if you're doing it on the right, make sure when you do these little four jumps traveling back that you land nice and softly. If you're following me on the left, keep your upper body straight, keep the tummy muscles tight. And this is where it's really good, it's low impact, so this is where it is suitable for everyone. Do this with your partner, your friend, your work colleagues, get people involved. That's it, because there's nothing better than spreading the word about being healthy and fit. And we're nearly finished on this first move. Three, go two, and one. Now march it out. You've got 15 seconds before the next move. Now this one, I'm only showing one variation because this suits every single fitness level. You are simply gonna be doing eight power punches and then you do a knee lift, either leg, lift up, lift up, and then straight back into those power punches. So again, this is move two, do this for 60 seconds. Make sure for me that your knees are, when you draw those knees up, that you keep the tummy tight. Also make sure they're slightly bent when you're doing your punching. And this sort of training, these seven minute workouts, honestly get incredible results. You know, if you wanna start running, perhaps you've never been fit, do this for seven minutes, you will see you increase your fitness. It's also an amazing way to strip excess body fat. And I have got two really exciting new products coming. I've got a men's online weight loss course as well as a women's one. This talks about nutrition. We talk about fat loss workouts, mindset techniques. These are online videos, healthy eating plans, day by day guide. I'll leave details for this in the description down below, but these will be available on my website, which is lwrfitness.com. All right, we've got the last few seconds coming up. Let's keep pushing through those punches. Abs stay tight, nearly done. Three, let's go two and one. So move number three, is where we're gonna be alternating with 10 seconds, either marching or doing fast feet, and then we're gonna do 10 seconds where we're then focusing on just working the arms, so then we're just marching through or kind of like running through the arms. So alternating 10 seconds. So again, if you're a beginner, follow me on the left, just march on the spot. If you're intermediate, then go for really small, fast feet. So you're not taking the knees up high, then when we hit 10 seconds, then take it so then we're working the arms. So this one here, and also constant keep those tummy muscles pulled tight for me. So when we see we hit that 10 second mark, again, then take it back. So again, if you're intermediate, follow me on the right. So you're doing really low, fast feet, go as fast as you can, and then take it into the next transition, then standing still, and then just working through the arms. And this is where I said, even if you've never run in your life and in seven days, you wanna be able to just run half a mile. If you do these workouts, seven minutes, seven days, I promise you as your online trainer, I will get you running your first half mile. And if you're already a runner, I'm gonna get you running faster, that's for sure. All right, let's just keep that going. We're nearly finished on this one. Five, let's go four, take it three, two and one. All right, so well done. Next move coming up. This time now, I'm gonna show you two variations. This is just amazing for working balance, flexibility. If you're a bit bad with balance, do this 
by a wall or you can have one hand on a chair so you're not bending as low. So we're gonna just take the fingertips, which is harder on the right, all the way down to the ground. You can see you can do a slightly easier one on the left. So the benefit here, now I'm strengthening through your legs. I'm also working on flexibility. We're working through the core. So we're doing lots of toning. And this is where today's workout, we've got a mix of plyometric moves. We've got a lot of toning. So we are increasing your calorie burn. I'm increasing your heart strength, your lung capacity. We are toning, we are sculpting. We are literally ticking every single box. All right, that's good. And you've got now coming up last 20 seconds. So you're alternating from one leg to the other and really focus on keeping those tummy muscles pulled in tight because what's happening there is you're then activating your core muscles. That's gonna help with balance as well. And um, we've got last 10 seconds. So again, with a runner, a lot of people have tight hamstrings. All these exercises are gonna help release that and make sure that you are more flexible as well too. And one, all right, so next move coming up. This one here, we are just doing a shuffle feet alternating going forwards and back and if you want to you can add in the jump and have the arms straight arms and this one is like a toy soldier jog on the spot this is move number five or you can do it on the left so you're taking out the impact keeping that going that's good and what we're going to do after 20 seconds we're then going to do it where you're taking your legs and your arms out to the side so get ready so it's like you're doing half a star jump so we're not adding in the jump literally just take your your arm and leg out that's it to one side so I'm a bit out of time here but you get the gist then you go back to doing 20 seconds shuffle the feet in front and then you're doing last 10 seconds doing that half low impact star jump all right that's good so keeping that going and don't forget, if you want to, for more advice, always come to my website, LWR Fitness. You've got all my other social media places. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, everything. I've got all my books, blogs, online courses, everything. Or if you just need any advice on training. All right, and let's just go last five seconds. Four, take it three, two and one amazing okay so we've just got two moves left now two moves now this is quite a tough one so again if you're a beginner follow on the left so you do two knees up then you step the foot back either foot and push through the hands if you're wanting the harder one it's just like a drop down burpee so you drop down you jump the feet back out and then jump back in but without adding the jump at the top so just follow as i'm doing there so you're doing this one again for 60 seconds that's good. And this is where you are going to get amazing results with this. So just keep going. And as I said, definitely hang around at the end and do the stretches with me so I can tell you how you can record your results. All right, that's good. Keeping that going. So what's important, especially if you're following me on the right, so you drop down, jump the feet out, come up and then straight up. And you'll really feel this one working through the abs and the same on the left, you'll feel this through the abs. So many people waste their time doing things like the plank and sit-ups. If you want strong abs, if you wanna strip belly fat, trust me, the only way to do it is with these cardio moves. That's good, and I am the personal trainer that is doing everything different to everyone else, but I know what works. Everyone always does like a 30 day squat challenge, plank challenge, it's time to change. It's time to like be smart and get quick, effective workouts. So next one coming up, this time now is the last move. We're gonna be standing on one leg, doing a knee crunch, and we're just gonna do a crisscross with the arms. Halfway through, we'll change to the other leg, and then we're just going to change the arms. So let's just keep that going. So tummy is tight. So if you think about it when you run, you know, you're driving that leg up. This is what we're doing. And if you are wanting to learn to run, I do have lots of different products from my books on running to ebooks. I've got a six week audio training plan. So I take you outdoors running. There's just a lot and plus all my different blogs. So definitely head there if you want to find out more. Let's keep that going. You've got another four seconds. Let's go three, take it two and one. Now change. So drive the other leg in front. This time pull down with those arms. You're doing really well. So this is a tough workout. So you should be feeling it, but you're nearly done. Let's go last 20 seconds, just seven minutes, but these are powerful seven minutes because these are short workouts. You can make it consistent. It's with consistency is where we then see results. This is a lifestyle, not a pit stop. All right, and let's just get ready for last five. Let's go four, take it three, two, and one.
So well done, that is the workout complete. Now what I want you to do is just march on the spot. We're gonna bring the heart rate down. I'm gonna do some stretches with you. And But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly explain to you what you can do. You can take a screen grab with your phone now and you can print this off. So what you could do is today, sometime today, go out and either walk or run, do a light jog, find 1K or half a mile, or even it's just run around the block, make a note of what your before time is, okay? And then what I want you to do, the after time, do that after day seven, and then you can see how much faster you have achieved that by. You can also tick off day one, day two, as you do this challenge. Okay, so we're gonna get into doing some stretches now. So the first one is take one heel behind, hands are on that bent leg, just feel that stretch through the back of the lower leg and just hold that there. So as I said, even if you've never run and you wanna have a go at doing a run, even if you go around the block or you do that half mile and even if you walk most of it and do a little bit of a run, it doesn't matter. Remember, this is about your journey, it's not about anyone else, but I want to show you how just seven minutes doing the right exercises is gonna increase your fitness, your speed, your stamina, your endurance, your health and it's just a really fun way if you can measure your results you will also notice you will feel more toned you will um, definitely if you stick to this and a healthy eating plan you will find that you lose inches as well so we're just feeling that now through the other leg okay so let's now bring that so we're going to do a hamstring stretch hands are on the bent leg and now we're stretching through the hamstring that's good and as I an online trainer on YouTube, my goal is to help to get everyone healthy and fit for free and provide you all with the workouts you want. So, you know, I love hearing all your feedback in the comments. Tell me the workouts you want. You know, I had a lot of people asking for like tips on how to start running. So that's where I came up with this idea. Let's take that now to the opposite leg. That's good. And why I do these shorter workouts and do them that you don't need any equipment is because then we can all find the time to do these at home. If you flex the foot up, you'll feel a more in-depth stretch through the hamstring. Now, next one, we're gonna stand on one leg. Make sure the supporting leg's bent. If you need to, you can always have one hand by the wall. Feel that through the front of the thigh. That's good, just making sure you feel that stretch. The stretches help us realign the body. They also help prevent any injuries. That's why these are important doing. It's also a great time to reflect. You know, you've just invested in your health for the last seven minutes. Um, I get a lot of people go, oh, how can it be a seven minute workout if it's a 14 minute video? Because obviously at the end, we're doing these stretches as well. All right, that's good. And now I wanna do one extra stretch. This looks like a lunge, but this is actually for your hip flexor. So imagine you've come into a lunge, tilt the pelvic area forward on the leg behind where I'm just pointing there. That's where I want you feeling that stretch. This is an area that's often really tight for a lot of runners. So this is where I thought it'd be really good to add this into the stretch sequence for this workout. And let's now take that to the other leg. So it's like you come into a lunge, then tilt that pelvic area forward, feeling it just down the front of the upper thigh on that leg that is behind. All right, that's good. Holding that there. Well done. All right, so next stretch we're gonna do, this time now, we're gonna do an arm stretch. Take one arm up, feel that through the back of the upper arm. We've worked the arms a lot today, you know, and this is where with running, it isn't just all about lower body, it's about your core, it's about your arms. Your arms help dictate the speed. The faster and stronger they are, the easier everything becomes. Take that now to the opposite arm. That's good. Keeping that going, really good, well done. And then we're just gonna take the arms behind now, I'm stretching through your chest. Make sure those knees are slightly bent and then we're gonna bring the arms in front. Imagine you're hugging like a big beach ball. We're just getting a nice stretch now through the top of the shoulders. And then we're also gonna do a side stretch. Cross one leg over, arms up, then take them over, lean over to one side, get a lovely stretch through your obliques, through your waist. And let's take that now to the opposite side, reach it up and over. And just feel that nice stretch, feel that lengthening all through where we've worked. So well done, big high five from me to you. And if you liked today's video, please definitely hit that like button. If you're not already, definitely subscribe. And if you could share these videos, would just be amazing on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest. Come and find me on Instagram. Let me know other videos you want because as your YouTube online trainer, I wanna make this channel grow. I wanna just keep giving you exactly what you want. So do let me know in the comments down 
down below how you got on with this challenge. Come back in seven days, let me know. Were you able to run that whole distance without stopping? Were you able to do it faster? Do you feel fitter? Have you lost some inches? Do let me know and I will see you back for another workout tomorrow.